Uh, so yeah, if you guys don't want spoilers for Game of Thrones, you should vacate or, or mute the stream, mute the video, and uh, hide the chats. We're gonna get into it. We're about to get into it. I'm excited because I've been wanting to talk about it. So I saw the last episode twice. I rewatched the episode last night just to get like a a, a a nice I don't know refresher, make sure you know I knew I had like you know a chance to look at things a second time. Um. So honestly, guys, like talking about if you if you let's just talk about like just the last episode first of all, and then we can talk about the season as a whole and then the show as a whole. So we'll kind of expand outwards. Uh. I got chicken ears, heat, Caroline Reaper jerky, durian fruit candy, and a bean. He was sad. <laughs> nice, Falk. Nice. Okay, did half a homework. Let's talk Game of Thrones. All right. So, what do you guys think about like the last, uh, the last episode of Game of Thrones? I personally, I liked it. I liked the last episode a lot. Um, I thought it was great. I thought that it ended exactly the way it should have in my opinion like i thought that the way that they ended things was it honestly surprised me that it was a happy ending <laughs> i thought i would just feel so empty afterwards but actually felt very fulfilled very satisfied with the way that it ended mixed feelings liked it liked it i can't let anyone hear this what didn't you like about the ending? I liked it. I cried the last 10 minutes. It was satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. The interesting thing is, um, uh, I'm going to move chat down. A oh, that's not chat. I'm trying to move chat down, but it's a challenge. There we go. Um, the interesting thing to note is that Danny never sat in the throne. She never sat on it. You knew that she had to die, though. The way that her character became, like, she had to go. Otherwise, it just would have been, like, like exactly where the show started. That would have sucked. <laughs> I liked it when Jon Snow returned to his planet. I, everything just felt the the pieces. I, I I for the most part felt like everyone got what they deserved. To be honest, what's that worthy? I okay i do think it's weird that bran ends up sitting on the throne like i don't know like how do you guys feel about bran's character because like he was in my opinion absolutely useless and so many people die and like sacrifice themselves to save him and he's done absolutely nothing like we expected um we expected him to like oh like have all this information about what he was doing during the battle for winterfell he literally was doing nothing he's done nothing he can see everything and yet he provided no help <laughs> for any bit and also up in winterfell he was like i don't want to be lord i'm not a lord i'm the three-eyed raven i can't rule like i can't be a lord and then at the end he's like yo why do you think i showed up man i'm here to rule the seven kingdoms let's go like it's like what what like okay like now all of a sudden he has like an invested interest in in the decisions made like he's the one that's going to make those final choices for the entirety of the kingdoms. I don't feel like his character has been used. Like they made this whole arc with him and becoming the three-eyed raven, making that journey where they almost died 50 times. How many people died for Bran to get to that point? How many people sacrificed themselves for Bran and for what? What did he actually do? was confirming John's name, but like, 
Um, Sam, Sam had that figured out anyways, or like could have or something, right? Like he still had that information. Oh my God, dream merchant, you know everything. You're so much smarter than us. You're better than everyone. You should, you should go somewhere else. You're right. Your opinion is above all. Great discussion, by the way. Brand had the same Italian as Danny. If you really think about it, he knew all these people would die and he let it happen as he, as if he decided to sacrifice them to become king. The thing, I mean, hmm. I don't know. Like they didn't really, I feel like use the three-eyed raven and his role. Like they never really even highlighted what the three-eyed raven, like his, his importance of anything really besides the fact that he lived in a tree and just saw things all the time like what was the point of that they never really explained it like he never used any of the information that he gathered for anything not even as selfless or, or otherwise. I think Bran needed to be where he was for Arya to slaughter the Night King, which I, 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 I guess, but they made this whole thing about the Night King hunting down Bran the entire time. Why? Why? Because he, Bran would know how the Night King dies, but then the Night King dies trying to fi fight or find Bran? The way I saw it, by the time he reached the ending phase, being the Three-Eyed Raven meant he was just a living memory uh, shell, nothing else. He's barely human at that point, including zero emotions. I mean, so how can you expect someone to rule? Like, I get it, you don't want, like, an overly emotional, crazy person, but you also need people that have sympathy and empathy for others. Like, how can he make any decisions with the people in mind when it, all of his plans would just be, like, pure, I don't know, calculations, I guess. I don't know, like, again, uh, someone point out, like, what, what brand, like, what his main significance was, besides, you know, don't get mad because I'm disagreeing. If, if you, if you have a point to make, make the point, don't make, don't put out a hissy fit like that one guy. Brand is all the memories and stories of Westeros, which is what Sam and Tyrion talked about. But, like, what is the point of that if no one knows... <laughs> Like, if he doesn't use or share that information, then what is the point? Bran can only see the past, so there's no way he could have told what Danny would do. As for why, because memory slash history, the Night King wants to erase the living, make an endless night of no history, no loss, no emotion, just being. That is why the Night King wanted to kill Bran, because he's a living history. But, like, man, it just doesn't feel very powerful when you okay hey guys oh by the way i forgot to tell you guys i am also this three-eyed raven and i can see all of history now i'm not gonna tell you what anything in the past is i'm not gonna say any of that information i'm just gonna tell you i can do that okay and that makes me very valuable why 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 does that make me valuable if i can just say that that happens and not actually use it Wonder Canvas with the 40 months. Thank you, Wonder Canvas. I oh, appreciate that. Thank you. Like, why does he become king? He can see everything and he just can't make sense of it all. That's helpful. Fancy Zach with the 10 months. Thank you, Fancy Zach. Oh my god, the resubs. Medwin, thank you for the 13-month resub. Bran could see any point in both uh, past and future, apparently, which makes his character more weird. I could see it being valuable if he put it to use, but he never did. 
he never did anything in season 8 besides be bait, which of course was important. But then what? When has he ever shed any light on anything? Now, to be fair, among those people to rule, I mean, I, I, I mean, San Sansa. Uh, I mean, yeah, there weren't many uh, great options, maybe, to rule all six kingdoms. He gave Arya the dagger. That that is true. I don't feel Jon Snow should have died. Nothing he did ever lead to a good outcome for him or happiness. Let him have his rest. Oh, I'm fine with the way that they ended things with Jon. He did use a bunch of ravens to see if the Night King was coming and gave people a tiny bit of heads up. Uh, no. He's not the one who gave the heads up about the Night King. It was, uh... It was the people from the Night's Watch and the Wildlings that came in and then were like, hey, by morning, they're here, kind of thing. It wasn't, it wasn't Bran. Anyways, uh, I, I just, I think Bran was not, I it just like, okay, he's the ruler. It, it just didn't make sense for his character when he was like devoid of feelings and wanting power and and being anything that inherited he did not want to be lord he did not want to be lord of winterfell why, why would he want to rule the seven the six kingdoms like what anyways i i was not a fan of that um but i i did like the last episode a lot i uh aria going exploring i think thought that was awesome that was her i i, I envisioned her doing that um the whole time she's always been a wanderer and she's always been a lone wolf. So, uh, totally fine with her doing her own thing, going to exploring. Um, Sansa ruling the north. I thought that was fantastic. That seems right. I think she'd be a good ruler. Um, she kind of showed a little bit of that in the last few seasons. And so I think she's going to be effective ruling the north. I know, BBP. I thought that was hilarious. Oh, I will 100% watch everything Game of Thrones. Absolutely. Why did Daenerys not kill Tyrion immediately? She never not immediately executed any... I mean... I don't think she let Jon visit. I think Jon visited, but I think... Also, she just took she just took over uh, the Seven Kingdoms. She wanted like a minute. Like, OK. I think she wasn't a hundred like I don't think she was like, oh, I'm um, she, like, at the time she wasn't like, oh, I'm going to murder him or execute him. I think she was like, OK, you need to go chain him up and I'll deal with him later kind of thing. You think Arya is gonna have a spinoff? I don't know. Why didn't Grey Worm kill John instantly? Just like all the, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. That was like that whole thing was kind of weird. Like John didn't like come out. Like the whole thing with Jon Snow, I thought was like super weird. Where okay, he's he's the rightful king, uh, and he just is like in prison right For, which is fine because he did murder you know the one who ins was you know going to be queen i guess but then like they just like don't even like think about they're like so bran becomes king and bran now is not allowed <laughs> to um to excuse john because Grey Worm will get angry. What happened to Grey Worm? His character kind of fell off, in my opinion. And he's like, oh, like, he's not here to talk. And then, like, just like, just, he just, he's like, 
Wait, what? Like, that whole scene was so weird to me. Where Grey Worm was like, this is my prisoner, and we're gonna do what we want with him and John. And then Grey Worm just sits there while they elect a new king. And the new king's like, okay, Tyrion's freed. <laughs> it's like... Like, what? Th that whole situation was so, like, bizarre to me. I was like, Grey Worm's not a in charge, and he just, like, like b basically... Just kneels down is like whatever i don't know what i'm doing i'm trying to enforce something but i can't so i'll let you guys choose a king over top of me <laughs> it was so weird it was so weird but it was cool seeing all the characters come together at the end i still would have liked uh a, a yara uh, um Euron battle What's up, Krim? Also, they gave the Unsullied their own land or whatever. They were going to give them their own place to start a house. I was like, how is that going to happen? That, was, that doesn't make any sense. For John Grey Worm went from murdering Lannister soldiers to oh this guy killed the queen I'm gonna show mercy. I mean I would have loved to see Grey Worm try to fight John. I mean I don't know I don't know. Grey Worm only acted on orders though like he wasn't thinking for himself so it wasn't like he was gonna kill John on his own volition even if he was upset. Like he needed he needed to be commanded. So he didn't know what to do. He's like, I'm gonna lock you up until I figure this out. <laughs> Chris. So yeah, the whole scene with the with Drogon burning down the throne, that was cool. I mean, I think like even if he tried to burn John, like would he have even burned? I think he'd just end up being naked. Like, uh, and I think Drogon, Dro Drogon, like, I mean, John is a Targaryen. Like, he, he, he did not, he could not do anything there. You know, like, John was the only one that could kill Danny and not pay the price from a dragon, right? Certain move is a smart move on the dragon's end because w wanting to sit there starts w wars. I'm sure the dragon definitely had that thought. Not all Targaryens are immune to fire. John got burned by fire before. That's fair. I still think like Dragon could not a attack a Targaryen. Like it, it, he literally like he the the, the the dragon literally was there and just like uh, burn out the thing. I could catch twenty two. Just like ah. That was sad though. That was hard to watch. I was so shocked and I don't know why because I I just don't like try to expect things so i just watching it i'm just like oh my god no way i was like oh my god did you see drogon drop danny in the ocean no dragon melting the throne was cool yeah it was cool I got burned in season one when he killed the zombie in Lord Mormont's chamber. Gotcha. What's up, Magali? Uh, thank you for bossing me with my humble link. Thank you very much. That alert is so tiny. I don't know why the alert is so small on the screen, but whatever. Was it not the place where Grey Worms, uh, oh, uh, 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 uh Miss Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, they wanted to go to Noth together. 
Memphis Dog with the 28 months. Thank you so much, Memphis Dog. Thank you for the 28 months in a row. I really appreciate that. You're awesome. Oh my god, Mike with the $2. Two St. Jude says, Loco, do you know what time it is? It's time for dabs and chat. Oh, Jesus. We're having a an intellectual discussion about Game of Thrones. We don't have time for your dabs right now. Okay, now we have to wait for the dabs to be over. See where Tyrion finds Cersei and Jaime was really good. That was so sad. That was like the moment in that episode where I cried. Like I was so sad because like he never gained or, or mended things with his sister. It just ended like so... <sighs> just such a hard thing to feel, right? Like the relationship between him and his sister and, and his brother, so complex super complex family and just like that his family is gone and like even though his sister hated him or you know resented him like he's he still loved her oh That came all around was amazing this season. Oh, for sure. Everyone killed it. Everyone killed it in their roles. Cersei may not have wanted anything mended, but uh, Tyrion certainly did. Tyrion definitely was torn his entire time. Like, it was basically, his entire character was just, like, torn between trying to be loyal to his family and, and love them and, like, also not getting back sad by them at the same time. Jamie still be alive if he didn't send... If he didn't, if he didn't go and get Cersei, I mean... He, I mean... Yeah, but he was not meant to live. He was 100% gonna go down. I don't know. It was, it, I thought it was pretty poetic. Like, I... The, so, the this episode before with the battle uh, at King's Landing, like... I I mean, it was kind of... It did feel kind of lame. But, like, looking at, at the, um, this episode and, like, how they laid together and just, like, it was just super poetic. That was sad. That, I definitely cried for that. I enjoyed Brienne writing out Jamie's legacy. Yeah, I, that was really cool too. I'm really glad they showed that. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was. See, that was such good closure. That was good closure for Jamie and Brienne. What's up, Galacticness? Like I liked the relationship that Jamie and Brienne had and uh I thought it was I thought that was perfect that she ended up finishing Jamie's story not sure Steven not sure so my the thing about this latest season is so watching that last episode I was like, this is exactly, this is great. Like, it may not have been what I predicted, but it felt right. It felt like it tied things up so well. The problem with this season is the way they got to the ending was super, super fast, super jumpy, uh, just not well done. It wasn't the way the show ended. It was the, the, the in-between these the fact that they pushed this into six episodes i think if they had two three more episodes in the middle to really uh flesh this out it would have been perfect um the, the, just leading up to it just felt but, but the ending like if you look at the ending 
I don't know. To me, it felt so well wrapped up. Everything felt so good. Ten seasons would have done it. They could have done it in, in, in seasons. They could have just added a few more episodes. Steven, you're telling me that HBO does not have a budget for the biggest show in the world? No, that was not it. That's not the reason. It takes longer for 10 people to order pizza than it took the king making council to make one. <laughs> I really don't think the season that... I mean, I, I thought that the uh, battle for Winterfell was cool. It was really dark and um, I mean, yeah, it was weird that it just ended in one episode, but it was cool. I don't know. I want to rewatch like the whole season now that it's done. The only episode I really had a problem with was the last one. The one before this one. Episode 5 was... Um... Meh, I had a lot of criticisms of like... I would say episode 4 and 5 was not great. But I think the way that the show ended overall was fine. But yeah, I, I kind of want to rewatch the whole season too uh get a better perspective now that i know how everything goes i thought they would have ended it with all, it all being a dream by brand after he fell that would have been the worst that is honestly the worst way to end anything ever oh that would oh I wish Sam would have died. Why? Sam was not going to die. It's like the sixth sense. Like, come on. The whole thing was a dream. Like, come on. Oh my god, that would have been the biggest troll ever. I don't know. It's just kind of ridiculous that people are like, we need to redo this. Like, oh my god. Okay, guys. <laughs> like, I have criticisms too, but like, my life is not ruined by the la last season of Game of Thrones, and neither should your life be ruined. I get it. Like, you know, there was some flaws. Uh, Varys dying was definitely one of my biggest criticisms of the season. They did not ruin the entire show with one episode. My life will never recover. Dude, give it a month and no one's talking about Game of Thrones. Like, like, ugh. Whatever happened to the ravens Vera supposedly sent out about John? He burnt those papers, didn't he? Didn't we see him burn them? Oh wait, horse thing with Arya was so big the episode before the last one? No, that wasn't. No, you guys just made it to be big. There was nothing big about it. It was just done really well. Like the cinematography in that episode was the, the, like seriously the best of the entire season. Yeah, I, like everyone just decided to, to to like make this huge like really just read into it way way too much. And then the, the nothing happened. The, what about that horse? Damn it. They showed a horse. It's got to mean something. No, it can just be a horse. It could have just been a horse. I enjoyed the last season, but I wasn't the biggest fan. I think it's fair to have criticism. Like I said, I, I do too. The worst thing about any of that show is now I really want to see what is West of Westeros. I think that's the beauty of it, though. It's up to your imagination. Yeah, no, people just really just read into it and wanted to make something out of it. Oh, okay, Bozes.
Thank you, ever bought something with my humble link. Thank you very much. Nothing about the rest of us because their world is flat. Yeah, they just, just, Arya's just gonna go and sail off the edge of the earth. What about a horse? And in the end of episode five, Arya got on that white horse and it was really beautifully done. Seriously, I want to rewatch that episode just because of uh, the symbolism and the cinematography. It was amazing. Like the screenshots from that show is fantastic. Honestly, the best of the season, maybe of the whole show. Some of those screenshots. Kaden, thank you for the 100 bits. I, I don't have a problem with Sam. I don't, <laughs> uh, I don't think Sam needed to die or anything. I don't think he was that. He was different. Um, but I don't know. I, did he need to die? I don't think it made sense for him fighting the battle for Winterfell. I thought that was like he should not have been there. Like laying on top of a pile of bodies somehow alive. But I mean... Amelia acting Danny going wild was really done well done on her part. Probably one of my favorite moments. Yeah. I mean you could see it in her eyes, right? Like you could see the the evil in her eyes. I think that was super powerful. Sam doing snow angels on zombies. Yeah, that was so odd. But man, I don't know. I feel like but like that ending the, like felt like everything got wrapped up john going to the north with the wildlings like him doing his thing he never wanted to rule he said it like 50 billion times he was not about that he just he went back to you know where his love where he found his love right with the wildlings he went back there Every time I try to talk about a situation. Didn't Bran say that too? Yeah. I mean, Bran did say that, which is why it doesn't make sense that he was like, oh, I came all this way to rule, but whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's maybe it's still not where it ended up, but how it got there. Yeah, and that's fair. I can get aboard Danny going crazy thinking why did they get to surrender when I lost so much but it was just not explainable because it was so short. I think um, a lot of people need to rewatch the past seasons to see the slow and inevitable corruption and that I understand being upset that that happened like I am so upset that Danny ended up that way too but it's not it wasn't like out of character in my opinion. It wasn't like an unforeseeable thing. I mean, it was kind of, uh, it was hinted at. There's a lot of foreshadowing and a lot of her actions that kind of show. I mean, Tyrion, yeah, exactly, Salty. Tyrion literally explained what happened with Danny in the cell of uh, that last episode. Like, really well explained it. So I don't know. Like that, that should I think satisfy people. It still breaks my heart because I was rooting her, for her. I, I, you know, wanted her to, to to be good, but you know that's Game of Thrones. <laughs> like it's not gonna be everything you want it to be. The characters are not gonna end up how you want it to be. Danny and Emperor Palpatine are my two favorite heroes. Jesus. If she had had an advisor holding her back, she would have gone bloodthirsty a long time ago. For sure. She was constantly in check by advisors. I did find it irritating that they spent 30 minutes just showing her fly around burning things. Yeah, I was like, that's how I felt at that during that episode too. Like, I was like, oh my god, enough is enough. We get it. <laughs> Show some other things. Have some dialogue. Like, I get it. I get it. She's murdering people. She cray cray. Let's move on. We only got a certain amount of time here. Let's show some other things. <laughs> it was also like nerve wracking because uh, 
Aria was like in the city and that just, oh, that was so stressful. I'm just really glad Aria didn't die. That would have, that would have made me pretty salty. What's up, Gavin? Any couple down the current political system in Westeros and it, that thing, that I think would have been huge in the real graves. Well, I mean, in a way she still did though. I mean, the wheel is definitely broken. There's not going to be a, a Stark son um, ruling unless if Sansa has a son, does that count? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Sansa made it very clear that Bran was, could not have a kid, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> When are we getting the Arya and West Westeros sequel? I know, right? Yeah, now. I thought for sure Arya was going to end up with her face burned like the Hound for some reason. That would have been interesting. That could have definitely happened. I don't know, Jen. You know, it's probably just like in a in a stable or like, you know, eating some grass with the other horses. <laughs> Not that there's any grass. I, I, that's the thing. That whole city is completely torched. Like, like, as Danny, you couldn't look around and see like there was nothing to rule there. Like that everything was gone. That that is a big problem. <laughs> I don't think Arya would ever become a cell sword. Her motivation for killing has never been about money. Uh, and I don't think that she's gonna become one of those people. That's not like her. I read the production uh, spinoff is gonna be about White Walker origins. That's cool. That'd be that'd be interesting. I think that Game of Thrones, the the core series, has definitely left uh, a lot of things that can still be explained in, in side stories and stuff. So I'm I'm happy to see some spinoffs happen because there's a lot of storytelling still to be had things that i think would supplement the main show really well yeah princess tp yeah that, that's what i'm thinking like this this um this spinoff is gonna help bye morgue Maybe there'd be a show following Arya's. I'd love to see a show about like Arya's journey and stuff. I'm not sure if uh, Maisie Williams wants to do that. If she's like done with Game of Thrones or what her interests are. I think everyone pretty much loves Arya's character and would love to see more. Like in the books where everything is explained yeah but i mean where's the i mean not everyone is going to read the books and i think bringing um the books to life in in, in through tv shows is super powerful like you could have said that about the game of thrones show why did they make a game of thrones so people can just read the books like well they make it into a show so let's make more of it into a show I think if um, George R. R. Martin finishes the books, I think I would go and read them. I would read all of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, like right now, I'm not going to read them. And then like, like the, the main thing I'm curious about is how he envisioned his ending. Because, you know, the books are going to have so much more details, especially with how the, the last season was so rushed. It's a long time to do the same roles. Yeah. As much as I'd love to see her journey, I wouldn't blame her for wanting to move on for sure. I did insult you. I did not. Do you have a link to that? If you have a link, you can throw it in here, Salty. You can throw it in chat.
GRM has uh, said he has plans to two to three more books. When is the last time a Game of Thrones book has come out? Twenty thirteen. Twenty years ago, uh, the last century. Game of Thrones is a twentieth century masterpiece. Uh, where am I looking for this? Yeah, just link it in chat, guys. I can't find it. Just link it. If you have a link to the thing, just throw it in chat. Thank you guys for the retweets, by the way. I appreciate that. Oh my god, 24 retweets. Thank you, guys. Okay, an ending. This is his blog? This looks like a Tumblr page or something. Okay. Uh, this looks like it was made with like, I don't know, like HTML4. Okay, let me look at this. Hmm. Jay Epic Seasons, HBO's Game of Thrones come to an end. It's hard to believe it's over. Let me zoom in. Uh, um, years have gone past in a blink of an eye. It's been a decade. It's been a wild ride. Okay, emotional things. Sad justice. No time to do them all justice. Last night was an ending, but it was also a beginning. Nobody is retiring anytime soon. David and Dan are going on to Star Wars and other projects. Amazon scooped up Brian Cogman and put him to work. Brilliant cast scattered. Um, yeah, busy. Everyone's busy. I'm still here and I'm so busy as a producer. I've got five shows in development at HBO. Some have nothing to do whatsoever to do. Some having nothing to do whatsoever to do with the world of Westeros. Two at Hulu, one on History Channel. I'm involved in a number of feature projects. Some based upon my own stories and books. Some of material, short films. I've consulted on a video game out of Japan. Interesting. Undead, yeah. Yeah, that's that's an interesting sentence. That ca that caught my eye. <laughs> and I'm writing. Winter is coming. I told you long ago, and so it is. The winds of winter is very late. I know, I know, but it will be done. I won't say when. I've tried that before, only to burn you all and jinx myself. But I will finish it, and then will come a dream of spring. Dude, are these books actually getting done? How it'll end, I hear people asking the same ending as the show, different, well, yes and no, and yes and no. I'm working in a very different medium, never forget, they had six hours for this final season. I expect these last two books of mine will fill 3,000 manuscript pages. Those of you who follow this not a blog will know I've been talking about this, season, this since season one. Their characters never made it onto the screen at all, and others who died in the show but live in the books. So if nothing else, the readers will learn what happened to these people that I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. And yes, there'll be unicorns. Cool. Books of show, which will be the real ending, is a silly question. How many children Scarlet Hera have? How about this? I'll write it, you read it, then everyone can make up their own mind and argue about it. Okay. Cur current mood. Is this a Zanga page? Like, what's happening here? But what is this blog? Like, is this what? What year is this made? What's up, Des? I mean, okay, that really didn't say too much. Besides, like, oh, hey, I, I'm going to write. It's going to be a thing. 
I thought it was really cool that at the end, man, I thought it was so cool at the end the Starks made it out on top because they were nearly wiped out in the beginning. I was like, these, this poor family, they've, they have gone through the ringer. I am, uh, I was, it was pretty badass to see them all together at the end, like standing together. I got chills watching that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> The Starks come out on top. What's up, Consolidated? I know, Dez. It took two showers and two face scrubs to get everything off. And they all split, yeah. Only Sansa deserves her position. The rest didn't play the game. Uh, we, we talked a little bit about Bran's character. I didn't feel... Uh, a... Bran could have, like, I don't know. I don't think he was done that well. Sansa. Oh, yeah. Sansa's outfit. Dude, season eight, Sansa and Cersei's outfits. Damn. Damn. Okay, so we are going to go over the predictions. That So we had a little contest at the beginning of, uh, of season eight. We had these uh, predictions to go through. So I'm going to open my predictions and the uh, answer sheet. And uh, you guys can see how, how far off we were. Um, okay. You know what, let me actually open this image and paint. Okay. So... So here's our, uh... So this is, we, we did this about uh season uh not season episode two or three was when we actually made this contest uh so these are our predictions for how the rest of the season would end up uh so Okay, so here are the answers. So who ends up on the Iron Throne? Okay. Unknown throne is destroyed, but there is a ruler. Yeah, so uh, technically there is no Iron Throne, but who who leads in the end? Uh, Bran. So, so we were kind of right in that way. Like in the literal sense, we were correct. So these are the right answers right here. Um, who kills Cersei? We thought Arya would kill Cersei. Um, no one ended up killing Cersei. Well, I mean, I guess Danny killed Cersei. Would you accept no one as an answer for what that first one? Yeah, I would accept. I. The, so yeah, the first, the, this is the predictions. This is the right. I would say, um, yeah, literally no one ends up on the Iron Throne. Who kills Cersei? Danny kills Cersei. No one answered Daenerys or Drogon, really? Wow. No one guessed that Danny would kill Cersei. Bricks. <laughs> Who kills the Night King? Man, who saw that coming? Because I didn't. I didn't even, like, we didn't even say the name Arya in our predictions. Arya kills the Night King. Uh, I did not expect that. I don't think anyone expected that. I don't think anyone suggested that. I don't know, OSG, if you know if, if, if anyone actually guessed Arya for that. We thought it'd be Jon. Were, will Thormund and Brienne hook up? No, that was pretty easy.
Will John, Danny, both or none survive? So I thought that Danny would live and John would die. <laughs> it turns out that, you know, it's the exact opposite. Opposite. Oh, A Green's guest Aria. Oh, nice. What's up, Urza? Suicide with the 45 months. Thank you for the resub, Suicide. So old set. Will Hodor return as a white? It was such a random thing, but no. What is Sam's final role? Grand Maester. Uh, we were right about that. Will John and Danny hook up again now that they know they're related? Yes. I mean, they kiss, but yeah, they, I don't. They didn't, they, they, they did not do anything more than that. John was not about that. I don't think Kiss is a hookup. Who is Azora High? I don't know. Doesn't John killing Danny make him uh, Azora High? But they didn't really like say anything about that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not like too um, familiar with the prophecy. There was no prince that was pro pro promised. There is more to the prophecy. That's true. And that's why it's like, okay, but Arya killed the Night King, but like. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's, I don't think it's established in the show. <laughs> Krim, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. We talked about brand. I don't know, man. Uh, who will tell Danny she is not the true heir? John. It was John. Wait. Did we. I wish you. I think you might have skipped one. But yeah, it was it was John. Will Danny be pregnant? We said she would be, but was never said. I mean, they just didn't like I think that she could have been pregnant and that could have been a thing if there were more episodes, but I think we decided to skip that one. Okay. Will Sansa turn on John? We said no, but I guess I don't know though. Okay, she didn't turn on him, but she did betray his trust. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, she kind of turned on him in a way, not in a way that like ruined their relationship or got anyone killed, but she did betray him. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like that might be a yes. What happened to Cersei's baby? Dead. Dead. How many dragons survived? We said zero, but a dragon ended up living. See, we're so wrong. She bet yeah. Well, Arya finished her list. I mean, Ill and Payne has to be dead. He's, I mean, he's non-existent. Where, where did he end up? She didn't kill Cersei, but I guess technically her list is done. <laughs> she's, she's, I think she's satisfied with her list. Oh, really undead? Damn. Well, Bronn killed Jamie, Tyrion, both or neither. We said neither. He killed neither. But we got a couple of these, right? Oh, that sucks, General Vicious. This sucks. It's sad. Need the Game of Thrones spoiler tag on here. There we go. They wrote him out. Yeah. Did I get two out of 15? I got, 
I mean, if this one, two, three, four, five, six. We did, we did okay. We did okay. Got a couple. We got a couple of them. Yeah. So we say Arya did finish. I would say the list is finished. Yeah. Like. She, uh, I mean, she ends up like sailing away. So I think she's satisfied. There ain't no one else left. <laughs> there really is no one else left to kill. I mean. <laughs> I would say yeah, she's she's dead. Oh, done. Not dead. She's dead. done. Done. Dead. 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 Done. 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 Dead. 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 Okay. There's one more thing that I want to do. I put together a little something something for fun uh, last night. I thought you guys would enjoy. There's always more people to kill. Did I reveal the winner? Oh yeah, let us know who won the uh, the prediction contest. Or I kind of abandoned her list, letting go of Cer letting Cersei when Sandra talked her out of it. Yeah. Ten choices correct. The winner is... King Stoller, congratulations! And West Sisa, we have two winners. Congratulations! You guys, I think, get some candy or something. I don't know. You get something. You guys are getting some candy. Ten correct answers. Oh, amazing. You guys, I just make things look easy. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, I have a, uh, a PowerPoint for you guys. Uh, I'm going to grab a water and use the bathroom really quickly. So give me about a minute. I'll be right back. And then we're going to watch this PowerPoint. One second. Okay. So I put together something fun last night to conclude our Game of Thrones discussion. I'm gonna hide my camera. We got some Game of Thrones memes. I put together some of the best memes that I uh, saw on the internet yesterday. Just a couple of them. <laughs> the memes honestly every week i look forward to the game of thrones memes they are fantastic and i'm just like why can't i be that funny how long this is taking not that long 
I mean, this, this is not a, a fancy PowerPoint by any means. All right. The memes have been great. <laughs> Whether you agree with them or not, it's all they're all fun and games. Here's our first meme. Hey, this guy's a Targaryen, the rightful heir to the throne. Nobody cares. John just, you know, <laughs> John just ends up going to the north, not even discussed, not even considered for the throne, even though everyone knows he technically should have been on the throne from the beginning, but whatever. Master of Whispers. Hey, John, want to commit treason? This was one of my biggest criticisms of uh, of of the season was Varys and what they did to his character. Being one of the most thoughtful and sly, cunning people out there, and then it's like, hey, walking around, hey, let's kill off the queen. Yeah, it was that was unfortunate for his character. Speaking of whispers, we appear to be missing a master of whispers. You literally see everything, Bran. You literally are the three-eyed raven. Come on. For real? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Sam, what if we invented democracy? Everyone else, you dumb bench. Nahaha, <laughs> everyone just laughed. Everyone just laughed at Sam. Oh yeah, we should just get the horses and, and the cows to vote too. I hated that part. That, I thought it was funny. I thought that was funny. Every like literally everyone just laughed at Sam's face. I really thought that they would go for it. Did you know that Daenerys Targaryen spelled backwards is Sirenid Nairagrat, which makes no sense exactly like her whole season eight character arc? Did you know? Okay, OSG, we're not rating the memes here. We're just looking at them. Okay, we don't need your expert analysis. To be fair, I, I think that Daenerys' arc made perfect sense. But I just thought it was funny. Are we doing Game of Thrones memes? Because I got memes. Oh, God. Drogon. Hmm, pointy. Also pointy. You son of a bench. Die. <laughs> John's lines in season eight, fifty percent. I don't want it. Fifty percent. You're my queen. <laughs> Even when he killed her, he said, you're my queen, guys. As he stabs her, the last thing he says, you're my queen. 
without the Foz. Number of Dothraki left after the long night. <laughs> Number of Dothraki two episodes later. <laughs> they kept growing. What happened? What about seven? How did that happen? <laughs> Kind of Santa and Sully, yeah. Maybe mitosis. Smart ones ex extinguished their flaming swords so they couldn't be seen. <laughs> local horse times a local horse. D and D, we kind of forgot they died. It's like in Total War, their number grows after some rounds. <laughs> I don't want to die, Ricaris. Got him. <laughs> What's up, Maximus? We will sail to Noth and leave the six kingdoms forever. Is he gone? I think so. Oh well, John, you can stay here now. It's cool. It's cool. You're good. <laughs> like, Bran, you're king. You you do realize that. Like, you are king. And technically, the, the rightful king is kneeling to you. What's up, NHL fan? Who has a better story than Bran? Well, I don't know. These are some pretty good options. Literally everyone else. <laughs> Literally every other character has a more interesting story than Bran. I gotta say. <laughs> John, love is the death of duty. Tyrion, duty is death of love. Reverse Uno card. <laughs> uh, the reverse Uno card. Got him. Super effective. <laughs> No, you. No, you. Well, when you put it that way, Tyrion, that's super wise. <laughs> Brienne writing Jamie's story. This man is the nastiest skank bench I've ever met. Do not trust him. He is a fugly slut. <laughs> oh God, if you haven't seen Mean Girls, you're not gonna get it. I don't know how people haven't seen Mean Girls because it's like the uh, uh, greatest movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> you how have you not seen Mean Girls? 
I haven't heard Fugly in a long time. Thursday and Jamie could have survived that they just moved a little to the right. <laughs> they could have made it. What's up, GT1? Yeah, I thought that whole place went under. They ran out of bricks. Yeah, I thought the whole thing, like, it, like it's, it looked like the whole thing collapsed uh, in like a domino effect. <laughs> What's up, Bruiser? I didn't do any diagrams. Well, we did have a chart. We had a pie chart. Bricks is expensive. There's so many more bricks in the background. But yeah, I mean, how would Tyrion even have found them at that point? Cersei emerging from the rubble with three hatched baby elephants. <laughs> <laughs> you really wanted those elephants. A queen of elephants. Or mother of elephants. <laughs> oh god. Look at that baby elephant. Just like... <laughs> oh god. I think there's only a few left. Don't tell anyone. I swear it. His real name is Aegon Targaryen. <laughs> What's up, Eskob? Don't tell anyone. All right, I think there's like one more. The best one. The ending we deserve. Yay! The true ending. Happily ever after. Haha. <laughs> Heading off into the north, where they belong. Together again at last. Man, I have to sneeze. Oh my god, I, I'm getting some allergies or something right now. Whew. Okay. We're going to wrap up the Game of Thrones talk, so... Oh god, my butt! I will take off the spoiler tag once it's for sure safe. If you guys want to discuss Game of Thrones, if you guys want to share some memes... I'm allergic to memes confirmed. Uh, Feel free to check out our Discord channel or our Discord server. Uh, it's open to everybody and um, uh, you can talk about Game of Thrones. We have a, a channel just for Game of Thrones stuff. So feel free to go in there and, and share your heart. I just got over being sick. Yeah, I'm honestly considering um, skipping the, the stream doctor this week just because my throat's hurting and uh, I might be getting sick and tomorrow's a long day. Tomorrow's our front page time. Uh, 
So we'll see. We'll see how I feel in a few hours, but I might just like decide to end early and get some extra rest. Which I feel bad canceling, but I also am like, I don't want to die. What's your season eight rating out of 10? I want to rewatch the whole thing. I, I, again, to conclude, I enjoyed the last episode. I feel like they wrapped the, the ending was satisfying. Uh, how they got there was kind of, um, I look sickly. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Um, how they got there was super rushed, but I did. I think that it was very well tied up at the end. Moko looks pale. Thank you so much. Surprisingly happy. Yeah. Don't die. I'm trying not to. Try not to die. He's always pale. This is true. How tall am I? I am five foot nine and three quarters. I don't mind how it ended up. I hate how it got there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I thought th I thought the last episode like if you just excuse the the rush path that it took, that last episode on its own was great. You might look pale, but still looking good. Thank you guys so much for this discussion on on my paleness and sickliness. I really, really heartwarming to have this discussion. You're welcome, Loco. It's what we're here for. <laughs> I honestly don't think I'd mind listening to an audiobook, maybe, of Game of Thrones. Hmm. Be careful, Loco. You don't want your heart getting too warm. Ah. <sighs> What's the games for the day? We're going to be checking out Total War. We have early access to Total War, and I am excited to check out Three Kingdoms today. Do you like the clips I sent you? I haven't looked at them. I love the audiobook of Game of Thrones. It was read by Dalvos. Uh, I saw a meme of, like, Dalvos, like... <laughs> Dalvos coming from uh, being an illiterate person to correcting other people's grammar is like the best character arc the show needed or something. Oh, he can read though. He was taught to read. I mean, he probably can't read that well, but he's, he, he learned how. Make the mods read you the books. <laughs> 